How to folks, John Window Payne here. It's been a while, it's good to be back, and it's good to see you. Now I got an excited new product and offer, especially for you, the audience tonight. We have a very special program ahead of us, and thus we have a very special deal. Now, you folks at home, have you ever felt like maybe you got an injury, maybe you're old, maybe you're tired, it's a little hard to walk, you ever feel like you just need a little help getting around, and also, you're the Pope? Well, then I have just the thing for you. It's Johnny Window Panes Papal Canes. That's right, Johnny Window Panes Papal Canes. Now, I got canes for every type of pontiff there is out there. Are you the kind of pope who likes to picture himself as folksy, woodsy, loves nature? He's an ecologist, he's an astronomist, he's a lover of trees and animals and plants and all those little things. Well, folks, I got something here for you. I got natural finish wood paper canes. That's right. There's a nice delicate finish, but mostly you see the knots, you see the holes, you see the grain. You see the grain in the paper cane. Now, if you're the type of pope who likes to put the fear of God into his constituency, I also got a paper cane for you. I got this regal dark finished paper cane. It's got some ribs down on it, just in case you want to rattle and make some noise. It's got a handle so you can point it menacingly at people. This is the paper cane for the frightful pontiff. And if you are the kind of pope who feels like he's more down to earth, he's the kind of pope who just wants people to know he cares about social issues, environmental issues, I have the humble, plain paper cane. That's right, made from 100% recycled cardboard and also is 100% recyclable for the Pope that cares about stuff. Now, this one also makes a little bit of noise, a little pop, a little sound, a little drumming. They do all of that for you. Now, I got a special prize for you, folks. Tonight and tonight only, if you want one of John and Blinda Payne's Papal Canes, you can order right now for the low, low price of $1. That's right, $1 for any of these canes every Sunday at church for the rest of your life. That's right, not only have to donate to the church, you also got to show up to church. If you stop showing up to church, John and Wendell Payne comes by to steal your Papal Cane. And I feel like you should be showing up to the church because you would be a Pope in this scenario. So, if you stop doing your papal duties, your cane goes away. That's right. John and Wendell Payne's Papal Games. Order now, Popes. Are you guys ready for this? We got something real, real special. We got the Pope! We got the Pope! We got the Pope! Hello, Pope. Hello. Hello, my children. We got the Pope. Hello, my children. Hello. It is I, Pope Francis, here, hopefully not messing up my, my, my papal throne, which is, of course, legitimate it is i pope um francis <laughs> oh you know i forget my name i'm just so relaxed like that i'm the chill pope the pope so chill he forgets his name with me of course is my are my two bodyguards the voracious terrifying scary mouthy and quite frankly the one of the most dangerous of his kind in the world the famous altar boy altar boy who will take care of any heretics and of course, next to me, the silent, 
deadly, terrifying Mother Superior. Mother Superior, how are you doing this evening? She never does speak, except when she has to. Of course, joining us this evening, I, uh, as, as many of you know, I have a, I have a, a, a prog rock, I'm releasing a prog rock album soon, so we'll be uh, debuting a few tracks on that tonight. If you have any questions for the Pope, any questions at all, you need a blessing, you want to confess your sins, I'm offering absolution for one night only, absolution, papal pardons, blessings, advice, call in 713-807-1794, that's for a direct audience with the Pope and therefore God, 713-807-1794, to call in, confess and absolve yourself, confess and absolve yourself. Altar boy, I forgot to check in with you, how are you doing? I'm doing real good, you know, Pope, the other day I was asking somebody if they knew you, and he said, well, I would like to, and I think that tonight show Everyone's going to get to know you a little bit. That's just something that everybody needs to have in this world right now. You know what I'm saying, Pope? And that, I do know what you're saying, Alter Boy. That's why we're here tonight. You know, I'm here to embrace the power of public access. You see, it's the most powerful communication tool there is. It really and truly is. Joining us also tonight is my bandmate. Uh, I've forgotten his first name, but I know his last name is McNigel. We had some pretty wild times recording a prog rock album. I don't think names ever really came up. Uh, McNigel, how are you doing? Well, you know, Pope, I'm doing all right. You're doing, I'm all, doing right. all right. Yeah. All right. It's, I, it's been kind of a rough flight over here, as you know. Yes, all, I do know. Yes. My full name, by the way, Having I'm flown surprised you've forgotten it. It's Nigel McNigel. Nigel McNigel, of course. Nigel McNigel, that's right. Ever by my side, my little guitarist, we will be playing a few songs for you later tonight. That's right. Pope is going to be real Mother, rockin', rockin Mother, rockin evening on this public access program. Mother Superior is not happy. Why is she ha not happy? The promise of the Pope is at her fingertips. I don't know if she ever knows. Mm. Anyway, I believe we have... Um, oh, okay. Well, what do we have? We have a few things to talk about in the world today. There's Very, a lot of things right, going There's a lot on. of problems out there, and the Pope is going to let you know about them. The Pope is going to let you know and offer Popely wisdom, as is usual. As you know, I'm not only the Pope of the Earth, but I'm also Pope of Space. And there are some issues in space. We've just discovered water on Mars, so there are now there is now a good source of holy water on Mars. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let's uh nice little applause. There'll be a steady stream of holy water once Catholics make it to Mars, which as you know will definitely happen because the Catholic Church has funded all sorts of exploration and the attendant atrocities. My dear Popey Wopey friend, how do you plan on blessing this water on Mars? Well, I'll do the traditional Martian greeting, which is a circle, followed by a line. And then a check mark, and then a thumbs up. Yes, that is how we greet and bless each other on the Pope. Wow, this Pope hat sure is sweaty. <laughs> Would you like me to take that head off for no, you? No, I have to wear it. It's ceremonial. Altar boy, would you dab my head, please? All right, Pope, I got your back right here. Dab you with this feather boa. Dab me with the feather boa. That's quite a good dab in there, you're done. And anyway, if you do want advice, remember 713-807-1794. I am the Pope and we will I will be attending to I will be hosting tonight's show. I offer many papal papal advice. Alter boy, uh, do you have a question for the Pope? Well, you know, my cousin Vicky there as the day he said what one you little alone down on the bug and I said, I don't know, let me ask the Pope. All right, my first bit of advice, altar boy, is to learn to enunciate. You speak far too quickly for any civilized person to understand. I got a lot to say right now. I don't have time to say the same things when you're in a new presence of a poor person. You uh, just gotta say what you gotta say. You gotta move on with your life. I understand your need for expediency, altar boy, but the rest of the world mm -hmm. does need to understand you. Ah, uh, uh, yes. if I might translate, please. I'm pretty there good at understanding. Altar boy saying, why can't I? Find love. Why can't Alter Boy find love? The well, essential question. Well, as you know, Alter Boy, you can't find love till you're married. Oh, well, how are you gonna get married if you're not in love? Fair enough point. I pope. wouldn't know anything about love. I'm the Pope. Now, I've written a lot of rock and roll songs. I think I know a few things about love. Well, and, and, and advise us, <laughs> Nigel McNigel. Well, first, you have to go to a dark and sweaty club, and you have to pay twenty dollars to get in. And then you have to buy three drinks, at least, before you can even hope to find love. All right, love? So there's a three-drink minimum on love. Or as us Catholics know it, Enough! a three-blood minimum. This 
This is outrageous. This is just utterly, utterly ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. Yeah, How dare superior. you talk about wasting money in dens of sin to our dear and darling Pope. Uh, hey, the Pope and I have a long history. You're going to hear about it a little later. Heck yeah, we right, do. Pope. Heck yeah, yeah, we do. But we, as he said, we will be getting into our history later. As I would say, as the Pope, I'm going to officially say that things are chill now. Things are chill now. Yeah. Uh, are we ready to, uh, okay. So, we are going to be right back. We have a series of, uh, short films geared toward advice from me, the Pope! Dear Pope, I am asking you today to help me restore my dog's body. Because, you see, she's been in a bit of an accident with this wizard shark, and you and your Pope powers can heal this, and then it can regenerate, because she really wants to be a gymnast. And please help me fulfill my dog's wish of being a gymnast. If it's important to the little Chiquita, then it's important to me. Thank you, Pope. the Pope. Caller, you're on the air with the Pope. All right. Your Holiness, it's good to talk to you. It's good to talk to you too, my child. Yes, uh, I won't go into my sins because they're far too numerous to take up your limited public access time. Well, but, I appreciate uh, that, child. My two, two quick questions for you is how is the canonization of David Bowie going? The canonization of David Bowie is going swimmingly. There is the slight hiccup of he hasn't actually died yet because he is eternal. But we're working around that. We found the little but we found a few Catholic loopholes that we're going to exploit. He will become Saint David Bowie in no time, sir. All right. All right, Carla. I don't know if you know does he, this. Does he have to convert? Does he have to convert to what? He's David Bowie. You have a very good point, Your Holiness. I, I'm sure you know that these things. Pope, um, may I speak to the caller? You may speak to the caller, Nigel McNigel. Now, caller, I don't know if you know this, but me and my rock and roll band, one time we were on tour with David Bowie, and Bowie said to me, Nigel, McNigel, I'd like for you to shoot me out of a cannon on stage tonight. And I said, Bowie, that's a hell of an idea. And so we got a cannon on stage. We are about to shoot him out. But then somebody threw a lollipop in his eye and he had to cancel the show. Had to cancel the so show. So we almost canonized David Bowie <laughs> back in 77. Oh, I forgot. Such wild days we had back in 77. Such wild days. Wild, wild Catholic fun, Ultra Boy. Don't you remember? Well. Well? Later yeah, luck next time. Um. The other, the other question I had was a personal question. Of course. Your Holiness. I am an open book. The Bible. So, I'm an open Bible. Ha ha ha! Catholic humor. My, my question is this. You're seeing one gal and then seeing your ex on the side. Mm, I've like been there. Send her on Facebook so she doesn't see what you're up to. Mm. What was your question, caller? I interrupted you to, to let the audience know I'd been there. Oh, yes, yes. So if you're seeing one guy and seeing your ex on the side, is it all right to unfriend her on Facebook? Which one, so my child? Both of them or one? Which well, one? Which one would be the best option, uh, you know? Well, certainly not the one you're be... currently dating. I wouldn't say that would make any sense. You should unfriend your ex if you're trying to walk around. But it's not nice to walk around but and... Wouldn't, wouldn't, be, wouldn't it be worse if she saw what you're doing than if the other one that you already broken up with? I can't see how, uh, <laughs> sir, you should obviously not unfriend anyone, because it looks suspicious to unfriend one. I, I think your, your, your Is paramour, I think your paramour will find it more suspicious that you've unfriended your ex-girlfriend. Yeah. Hey, if she doesn't want to see it, she can unfriend you. If you unfriend her, then it's a diss to her. It's rude. Alter boy's so wise for such a young brute. 16 years old, this child is. But I already wise well, beyond. Take that into consideration, Your Holiness. You're welcome, sir. Anyway, caller, I do, my child. I appreciate your phone calls and your inquiries and your requests. Please, please, do you need a blessing of some sort? Caller. All right. <laughs> I've got all this water. 
Butter is bottles of water. Can you turn it into wine or vodka or some other alcohol? Uh, but of course, you I can, can turn water into wine. They teach that's the first thing they teach you in Pope school. All right, bring the water to the phone, my child. All right, it's at the phone. It's at the phone. Let me speak privately to the water. Water. Right. You want to become wine. That is what is happening tonight. I'm just trying to frame it for you so you don't get too upset. Now you're gonna turn. You're gonna turn red a little bit. Don't worry. It's not blood. Anyway. Ah, blah 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 blah. blah, blah, blah Latin hand. Ah, blah 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 blah. No no no. Dominus something something. I've forgotten the words. It doesn't matter. I wave my hand and it's wine. Caller. Hello. Oh, uh, is this a new caller? Caller, you're on the line. You're on the air with directly with the Pope, Alter Boy, Mother Superior, and of course the legendary session guitarist Nigel McFrickin Nigel. Thanks, Mike. Can, 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 this is amazing. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can we hear him, Mother Superior? Can you hear him? I can. Oh, oh chills every I time. Had, yes, Caller. I, no, I had no idea I would have such a prestigious audience. Well, you know, this wonderful show, Space City Chronicles, they have amazing connections. They got the Pope. They got me. I was happy to do it. You know, this is an excellent way for me to spread my message. This is positively overwhelming. It, I imagine it must be, sir. I'm overwhelmed every day. I was, I was just expecting some bald schmuck named John. <laughs> John is not a bald schmuck, but you're right. He, he's usually here. He is a schmuck. Okay. You know, he's a bit of a schmuck. Alter boy, wouldn't you well, agree? Father, eh. uh, were you watching the show last week? Was what, what, my whole? Uh, excuse me, it's your holiness. I do. My, I must uh, insist. Sorry, I'm not Catholic. That's fine, my child. Everyone's Catholic in my eyes, as far as I can tell. Great. Well, um, uh, you didn't watch the show. I called in last week, and uh, I was advised to move into my car so that I might uh, save on rent. My child, I do recall, I do recall them saying something about this. Now tell us, how, is, how has that been going for you? It's going great. I've saved, well, I already paid my rent payment before I moved out, so I saved zero dollars yet. All right, so you're already, you're already X amount of dollars in the hole. Not a good yeah. start. No, but next month. Oh, I next month. I won't have a rent payment. As long as I remember to change the direct deposit. Yeah, uh, but... Yeah. Just go ahead and make sure you remember to do that. Um, you do have you do you have internet access in your car? No, unless I'm parked near a Starbucks. Okay. <laughs> I guess I could control. Yeah, there's a pretty sweet spot though. My child, there's always plenty of Starbucks to park at. You know, I've I've heard there's I've heard tell of a Starbucks across the street from another so Starbucks. That's double Wi-Fi coverage. Is that in this city? That is in yes. fact in this city. It's yes. So it's so go there then. It's a. Uh, Shepherd and it was Wes Gray. Gray and Shepherd, you can find the Starbucks across the street from the Starbucks. Yeah, and there used to be, yeah, and there used to be a Borders with a Starbucks inside of it, right next oh, to no, it. So there used to be three. Yeah, that's a Barnes and Noble and a Starbucks a Noble, in the parking lot of the Barnes and Noble. Yeah. Triple but, but Wi-Fi so if coverage. If you're in that area, triple. you're you're guaranteed to be covered. You could be outside in the middle of the street, at either one or the bookstore. You'll be fine. Well, that's perfect. I'll have to move there then. There you go. Oh. In fact, actually, they have a gigantic parking lot that's like five stories. Uh, find yourself a nice home in that parking lot. Beware of the security guards, but hey, you've got a great view. You can see the skyline up there. This is true. Security, security guards just means my home car won't get broken into. Yeah, as long as uh, they're cool with you. You might have to pay them a little bit of the rent for the garage well, space. Hey, but that's probably still going to be than cheaper I than have already spent. Yeah. My child, have you yeah. had any run-ins? Have you, have, you, have you had any um, time to work on your guitar playing skills? Well, there was kind of a bump in the road there. I couldn't find a guitar. Okay. Uh, but I do think I have the next best thing. I have a ukulele. Ah, ukulele. Nigel McNigel, yeah. not... Nigel, please, if you could do me a favor, I can't get off my table. I also have a banjo, but that's another story entirely. Ah, that's a story the Pope understands and appreciates banjo. That schmuck John is a quite oh, avid banjo boy. player. Where is John, by the way? Oh, uh, he's John. out and about. You know that Rouse the Bat, he'll come asking for forgiveness tomorrow morning, I'm sure. Ah, uh, but that's, uh, partying up on a Monday, that's John for you. That's John for you. No job, no job having, having mother ever. No job, John. John, that's what they call him. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, caller, we've we've been more we've we've been very happy 
to hear from you. Please call us in next week. Keep us up to date. Work on those ukulele skills. Our jewelifica SCC's jewelification of our mystery caller will. will please. But I do believe. Uh, do we have... Uh, I, uh, do we have a, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm a little inexperienced hosting a television show. Go figure. But, uh, are we moving on to the music or Catholic bingo? Bingo! Bingo! It's time for my, the Pope's favorite game, Catholic bingo! <laughs> Let's get this party started. Nigel McNigel, would you go ahead and explain to us how this game works? Catholic bingo works a lot like regular bingo. Do we have, we have the bingo cards right here. And over here we see... A lovely bingo wheel. Now, the way it works is you spin the wheel. Makes a raucous sound. I gotta use that on one of my records. And sometimes it goes the other way for no reason. And then it lands on a picture. We cross that thing off of the bingo card and whoever gets a straight line or a diagonal line of four anywhere on the bingo card gets a special blessing from the Pope. We will all be playing, including the Pope, in an unprecedented move he might be blessing himself. Are we ready to play Catholic Bingo? Catholic Bingo! <laughs> all right. Let me distribute your cards. Do we have the bingo marker? Yeah, I got some in my pocket. All right. Are we ready? Now, well, now I don't have a mark. Uh, I have one in my purse. As a lascivious purse. rock and Mother roll Superior has a, has a sharpie in her purse. Ah, oh, wonderful. Do you need me to get that for you, darling? All right, where's your purse? I wouldn't, I, point of advice, I wouldn't call her darling. All right, whatever but you say, your idea. holiness. Now, for the sake of time, I will cross off the things on your cards because I don't think any of you are above cheating. Here we go. The Pope's never. The first item to be crossed off is... What is the first item that's going to be crossed off? Pope, can you tell me what this is? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. There's some woman with a little halo around her head. What is that? I don't see the option here. Original the rosary, no meat on Friday. Oh, I believe that's the bonus square. The bonus square? The bonus square means absolutely nothing. Next. I'm going to write bonus square on my map. I want everyone to do the same. Bonus square. There you go. Our second is the Pope the himself. Pope? Me! We're all going to cross off the Pope. Don't you be crossing off the Pope, though. That's nobody's business. Well, the Pope certainly does. Doesn't like to be crossed. And that's why I love you, mate. Yep. <laughs> All right. Round three. You folks following at home. Write this down real quick. It's me again. We got the Pope double play. Plus Pope. Double plus. Call in at 713-807-1794. We've landed on the Roman colors. We have landed on the Roman colors, of which, Pope, can you tell us a little bit about why it's called the Roman colors? I cannot. If you are a caller from Rome, please call in. 713-807-1794. And remember, any, any questions, my children, 713-807-1794. Confessions to sins. I'm in the mood to give some absolution tonight. Blessings? Call, get your blessings? Get yeah. your blessings. I'm halfway 
to getting a blessing from the Pope. How y'all doing? I'm nowhere near it. No? All right. Next spin. A wise man once said, you spin me right round, right round. We landed again on the po Pope, did you rig this game? <laughs> How could I win if it lands on me three times? You Nigel, the Pope, you tell me. Nigel, Nigel McNigel. He's using his magic Pope powers. <laughs> For the first time, we've landed on the Pope. Quadruple plus power! Can we get a close-up on the Pope to make sure he's not doing anything screwy? My hands are full of my papal cane. Chart. He's got magical powers. Oh. We have not landed on the Pope this no time. No job. Mercifully. Notre, D aka Notre Dame, fighting Irish. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. I'm a big fan. If all if right. I watch TV, I would watch Notre Dame. Yeah, mother's <laughs> Pia, you ever been to Notre Dame? Yes, I've been to all the churches in the world. Every single one. Every single Not Catholic. just the Catholic ones either. Every single one. She's very busy. What's your favorite church? Ah, oh, the one with the chicken. It was a very impressive chicken. I'm a big fan of this, uh... This band from Glasgow, they're called Churches. They're more than one church, I really like them. Like Church of Chicken? Now, as we can see, the Pope has weighted more heavily. That looks like it landed on Vatican and it looks II. Like it's electric once boogaloo. More, that's the that's the Pope. Pope. <laughs> Pope. <laughs> what did I say about cheating? I I can commit well, no Sapira, sins. Would pope. you kindly discipline the Pope for me? <laughs> and Ah no. Ah mother It's the Pope Pope again? Again with the Pope. Quintuple I'm beginning plus power. to think. That this bingo game has been rigged. Alright, we finally come to another piece. I see. You'll forgive me, I'm not terribly religious. There is a, there's a ring that says, I will wear. Oh, ah, that must be abstinence. Abstinence, yes. Now, what does abstinence mean? I, I I've never know. heard of the word myself. <laughs> what would I know about abstinence? <laughs> Feel free to cross it off. Next row. Oh, oh if, you want, if you want to know what abstinence is, abstinence is the only foolproof way to maintain purity in God's eyes. That's it, that is all. That's all? That's all. All right, kill a bunch of people. Remain abstinent. Sounds like a good thing to me. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, you're ever the clever one, Nigel. Nigel, my, the, the, the spinny wheel is falling over. <laughs> we have landed on the sign of the cross. Sign That's a double face. I've got two of everything. Sign of the cross. Here you go.
Now, I am 50% of the way in two lines. How y'all doing on your bingo games? Fifty percent on three lines. You know I'm more tired of speaking. My accent. Now. Makes it hard to say words for a long period of time. Why don't y'all? Why don't we get a guest spin up a in guess here? Spin. All boy, boy, alter you can't boy. Spin the wheel. Spin uh -huh. that wheel. Spin that wheel. Be warned, I'll be watching ya. Yeah. Oh, I'm mighty interested to see if it lands on the Pope again. The Virgin Mary! That was our bonus square! Double plus bonus! Double plus bonus! Oh boy. What does that mean? How do I cross my... You don't! You it's not a square! Like <laughs> the Pope made it up! He made it up. Mate. I'm getting to rethink our record deal together. Why? Because I cheat? You don't want someone who cheats working with you in the music industry? No. It really seems no. like it would be Can't a benefit. Can't avoid it. It really does. All right, give us a hearty spin. No, I want you... it to land there. On Vatican Use II, the electric boogaloo. Use the Marcus, the only way. Oh. Electric boogaloo. Oh, all right. All right. I'm three-fourths of the way to a blessing. From the Pope. I've known him for 30 years, and he's never once blessed me. Never once needed to. Have you ever know? gotten a blessing from the Pope? Several. What? It's really easy. Why didn't you never ask? Anyone need marker? That I would get them in your company. All right. Why, why okay. would you assume such a foolish thing? Nigel, just ask me. You want a blessing? Ask me for a blessing. That Pope. For all the friends, I happily do it. Pope, can I have? Not right now, we're doing a thing. Alright. <laughs> ah, sex tuple? Six? Plus power! What if you give it a gentle spin? What do we. Alter board, quit fooling around. The sign of the cross. Alright, that's a different one. Well, then what's that? Down That's there. Notre Dame. That's a That's double plus. We've done that one square. already. All right. Wait, no, something close to Okay, well. Oh, we, already, we already did that it, one. It just so happened to just now coincidentally land on the one that makes me the winner. What? And which one is that? Rope, rope, bingo. Oh, Catholic that. bingo. Oh, oh, Catholic bingo. Okay, we get blessings because we won. All right, well, Mother Superior. I still don't get a blessing. I'm telling you, you just need to ask at a more appropriate time. Neither. Is this an appropriate this time? This is a grossly inappropriate time. I feel like you're putting me under a lot of pressure here. Now, I'm going to need you to get up from that seat. I can't bless them if they're far apart. Because then you might together? accidentally get a blessing, and God knows we wouldn't want that, now would we? Right. Now, my children, my lovely, dear, dear God, probably God and God. I bless you in the name of... Oh, how does this go? I always forget. You know, it's, it's, it's hard when you really don't believe in God. 
my children, <laughs> in the name of the Holy Father, the Son, and some other important people, I bless you. Go forth and enjoy your Catholicism, or whatever. I'm not super into this right now. I'm really looking forward to jamming. Are we? T is it time to jam yet? Is it time for the Pope to jam? Uh, I right. think we could probably make that happen. Uh, Nigel, why don't we go ahead and show him what we got? Uh, if we could get an introduction, Mother Superior. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we have for you the uh, uh, musical stylings from on high, uh, straight from uh, God's lips uh, to the Pope's hands to your ears, uh, the papal stylings of the Pope and his funky bro, Nigel McNigel.
The Foley Blow. Gives you his blessing. His art only. Blessing. Straight from the Vatican. Couch and accept, you know, it's going to be Pope Pope Flowing. Yes, let me let me go ahead and turn off my amp here. Thank you, Pope, for turning off your amp. Yes, my child. Callie, so lovely to meet you. Let me grab my papal cane. Oh, well, I thought this was your papal cane. That's all right, my child. This, this belongs to, I believe, altar boy, then. Would you please, uh, Mr. McNigel, dispose of that? Thank you. Dispose of it. Dispose of it. Uh, so, gentlemen, uh, first time on the show. Uh, what do you think? What do you think about our little program here? <laughs> I think you've got a great setup here. Nigel, what do you think? You're the musician. You've been touring all over the world. Well, I was once in this public access program back in Hamburg. And let me tell you, it was really hot. I thought I'd get into this action. Double? And, well, I'll let you judge for yourself. Mm. Excellent. Well, thank you. Lovely answers, gentlemen. I think we have a caller. Caller, you're on the air. Would you like to uh, talk to the Pope? Uh, yes, I would. All right, please go ahead. Ask the Pope anything you want. Anything you want, my child. Uh, you, you know, the other day we, we met Mr. Pope. My name's Kim Davis. You may remember me. Kim! Kim, I do believe we did meet. Now, how are you, girl? Excuse me, I get southern I'm sometimes. Girl, well. how are you? How are you doing, Pope? Always nice to meet a fellow homophobe. How are you doing? I don't remember your name. Was it, was it Frank or Fred? Oh, no, who cares about names? It's Francis, but you know how I am. Well, you know, Pope, I just wanted to ask you a question. I know we had that long conversation about about Jesus and and marriages and 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 the homosexuals. Yeah, it was almost a shame I even bothered to grace you with my presence. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna drop the fake accent, my child. Please continue. Well, you know, I was just had a, a little a follow up question, if I may. Oh, you may, my. That there, someone came into my office yesterday, and they wanted to marry a, a cat. It was a, a woman about the age of maybe 40, 45, and she wanted to marry her little kitty cat. You didn't do it, did you? Well, you know, I have my religious objections. And I just wanted to check in with you, <laughs> like I did the other day, see if that was, you know, against the Bible. Well, I haven't read much of the Bible, <laughs> but I assume it's somewhere in there. You know me. Preach first, read, read later. That's how I am. Now, this woman's name who wanted to marry her cat. 
Was her name possibly Kim? Oh, I couldn't, I couldn't disclose that information. Confidentiality, you understand. You know, I think Kim Davis is calling in and asking for papal permission to marry her own cat. You know what? It's chill. Go ahead and do it. Now, now, I, 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 I'm asking for a friend now. A friend. I said it was a Kim, friend. Kim Davis, what's your friend's name? Oh, I, uh, yeah. Ki, uh, <laughs> Kim, Kimmy? Yeah, okay. <laughs> tell, you know what? You tell your friend Kimmy it's A okay in the Pope's eyes if you marry her cat. All right. You know, she's going to love that, but I think uh, more importantly, her little key cat's going to love that too. Well, we're just. We're and just should, should we give the papal seal of approval? We're here. giving the papal seal of of approval. All right. Good. Thank you All so right. much. Kim, thank you so much. It was so good to hear from you. Now, Miss Davis, is there anything else you want to say? Uh, no, I think that just clears everything right up. Thank you so much, Mr. Pope. We hope you have a beautiful ceremony. Beautiful. Oh, it, uh, it, like I said, it's for my friend Kimmy, but she, uh, she will, Kimmy, she'll love it. All right. I'm sure she personally. will. All I right. Mean, the Pope has condoned bestiality, and Kim Davis is marrying her own cat. Yes. Well. As I said, it's all chill. All right, gentlemen. Uh, so you don't have that much uh, time this uh, this particular couching because of the uh, groovy, groovy jams that you gentlemen are doling out for us. Uh, so I'm going to get right to the uh, the heart of the matter, the meat of the sandwich. It's going to be funny when you find out what I'm going to ask you. What kind of sandwich do you think about while you're in the shower? Pope. Well, as you know, I can't shower naked because it's a sin to be nude. But when I am in the shower, hastily bathing the parts of me that are allowed to be visible, I'm certainly thinking of my favorite, the Eucharist sandwich. You take two pieces of his holy body and you sandwich them. You, you sandwich something, something fun and meaty. You know, I make a Reuben out of it. It's really more of a framework for a sandwich. But I figure, why not eat holy, you know, when you can? I like it. Yeah. That's lovely. Uh, Nigel but Nigel. You know, it's remarkable, my puppy friend. My sandwich is almost identical. Except, instead of the Eucharist crackers, matzo crackers. You know, <laughs> unleavened bread. I feel like it tastes pretty similar. And especially, it's got to be a Reuben, too. Got to have the corn, beef, and the mustard. Mm. And the you know me, the Reuben. We went on a, a, a whole tour of uh, just Reuben-based songs one year. The Sandwich Tour. The Sandwich Tour. 97. 97. Wonderful year for sandwiches. Wonderful year for sandwiches. I don't know if we actually played any music. We ate so many sandwiches. I feel like we made our own music, in a way. You know, I think I, I think my crazy aunt went to one of your shows. She said it was like... That's just the sound we made. Totally psychedelic. Yeah, I said it was just intense. It's intense. You just sat... Uh, on a stage and ate sandwiches. What uh, city does she live in? Detroit. Oh, do you remember the sandwiches of Detroit in 97, Nigel? I don't remember anything about Detroit, Mike. Because if you remember Detroit in 97, you, you weren't were really there. there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those sandwiches. Nigel McNigel, we've been up to some crazy things, haven't we? So, gentlemen, let's get real with this. Uh, tell me, uh, each of you, your most embarrassing story about each other. You, you go first. All right, you go well, first. one day. We were doing like we were reaming lines of coke into our nostrils. Oh yes, we were. Oh, I in a hotel that. room somewhere deep in Australia, and Nigel leans over to me and he says, "Pope, you're you're the Pope. You need to get your life together. Start wearing your white instead of snorting it." That's absolutely. And true. And I was I like, "Shut up, that. Nigel!" And I slapped him, and he cried like a little baby. That's my embarrassing story about Nigel. He but cried. then when he came down, he came to his senses. <laughs> of course, I became the Pope. Funny thing, I wasn't Pope at the time. I only recently became Pope, Nigel. What the heck were you talking about? Anyway, Nigel. Most embarrassing Pope story. Well, one time, I was touring Argentina, Pope's hometown. And, uh, well, we, uh, we go all separate ways in the evening. And I, uh, the next day, we, uh, I show him my special lady friend that I had met the night before. And the Pope says... And he wasn't the Pope at the time, mind you. But the Pope says, What? That's my mother. And I said, oh, She was lovely, mate. Uh, honestly, that wasn't embarrassing. I just no, wanted it was to share a disgusting it. story you decided to share with us, Nigel McNigelson. McNigel, and I was not very appreciative. I'm genuinely very angry. I think at you maybe that. she was embarrassed, but 
I, w I was all right with I'm it. I'm genuinely furious at that. Anyway, we, uh, yeah, we've had some time together. That was a pretty sick burn. It was a pretty sick Pope burn. Yeah. Papal burn. You know, I could have him personally sent to hell. I mean, I'm I... I'm tight like that with God. That's what I've heard. I've heard, I've heard good things. Um, tell me, just a little, one last question, and this is only for you, Pope. Uh, what really gets God's goat? Like, what has he just told you just grinds his gears? What grinds God's gears? When you try, when you're indicating on the freeway, you need to take initiative. Don't just sit there hovering in the lane when you know you want to get over. Find the space and go into it. That's what gets God's goat. He gets real, it holds up traffic and it causes traffic jam. It creates so much stress. He'd really just rather you take the time and some, drive with some confidence. Is, is God from Houston? God has been, God is not really from anywhere, but he, he has problems with traffic all over the world. God sounds like a Houstonian. He, he, well, he, you know. All right, Pope, Mr. McNigel, get out of here. Uh, well, I'm sticking around, but okay, I see. Get out of here. I see. And now, Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Alter boy, I need altar boy here. Now! Altar boy! Altar boy! Altar boy! What? Where were you, you little rapscallion? Uh, I was out in the pasture checking on the cow. The pasture? Where did you find a pasture out here? Uh, at the other church. The other church? The Baptist. You don't want to tell me where you were, do you? The Baptist pastor ate the cow. And so I told him it's Friday, you're not supposed to be eating cows today. Ah, oh, yes, it's Friday, It's even though it's Monday. Well, this was on Friday that this happened. You really can't keep a story straight, can you? Well, you see, the way 
Anyway, Alter Boy, the reason I've called you up is I am desperately hungry. Would you hand me your smartphone so I might order, uh, order us a pizza? Um, <clears throat> well, you see, what had happened was... Um, I will make a smartphone appear magically with my miracle powers. There, look, oh, see? Oh, you know what? I, I just, I robbed it from a little kid. Don't worry about it. He's too young. He doesn't need it. Just, there you go. I absolve you of your sins. Okay, Thank beep, you. boop, boop. I have ordered us a pizza, and because I have a special relationship with uh, the pizza god, shh, it will come immediately. Pizza, here. Hey, knock, knock. You got, like, this pizza from the boat? <laughs> Uh, Alter Boy, would you test the pizza for me? Whoa! See if there's no poison on it. Hey, hey, we didn't say testing. I just, I just got. Oh, take he just he has to test everything I eat. I can't. I can't just. Um. Eat, um well. Take a little piece. Maybe. Make uh, sure it's okay. Maybe the Pope should eat that instead of you. You maybe. That's <laughs> just. Uh. uh <coughs> Alter Boy, spit it up. Spit it in no. there. Alter Boy, you know. That's it. really delicious, though. Yeah, it's good, right? But right? like, it's got a little bit of poison. Just a little. You know what? I thought you ordered poison on it, man. You're not supposed to poison him! I thought you All right, I'll right. right. dispose of this. Mother, Mother Superior, Mother Superior, this man tried to poison me. He Please. tried to poison no, him! Man, he Just ordered poison, poison, poison on it! He ordered the order of this. He okay, ordered man. poison That's on it! it. That's <laughs> it! That's <laughs> it! Now, as... Okay. Get him uh, his go. Uh, Why my guardians destroy this man inside oh, and out? Oh. We, uh, we have. Yeah. We, uh, we must draw your attention to Roll a new path. Up. You see. Ancient Houston Mediasaurus inquired as to what was the purpose of this horse, cor horse corpse. Uh, now, it's my understanding that the, uh, the host of Space City Chronicles. Basically murdered a horse and left the corpse in the prop room. Now, the, the story has... It, the, the, the corpse has not gone anywhere, of course. It is rotted and fetid and disgusting. And Asian Mask asked me if I could take care of it, you know? Just uh, do one of those little resurrections. So we're going to resurrect this this horse. Uh, I'm going to need some help. I need my, my attendants, altar boys, please. I need extra canes. Extra canes for this, please. We're res resurrecting a horse. It's going to require some effort. Uh, there's the plain cane over I here. I don't know where they are. There's the plain cane over there. And there's the one cane over there. Altar Why don't you one. use your magic power? Well, I need three times the papal power. Ah! You have to say, remember, remember the you holy... see this? Remember the holy trinity. I don't like it. Uh, altar boy, come here. What? Altar boy, come here. Come here. Altar boy gets emotional. Altar boy, remember, we're resurrecting a dead horse. You don't need to freak out about it, okay? I don't like you. All right, let's form the Holy Trinity Triangle and resurrect this. What I understand was a very irritating horse. It was a tic-tac friend of the children. All right, repeat after me. One. One. Two. Two. two three. 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 That's the number of sides here. We've already gone through one life. We've got two left. Fun fact, you only get three. All right, we're starting to feel the magic. Feel, uh -huh. feel the resurrection power. He's rising. He's rising. Uh -huh. All right, all right. The power of Christ compels thee. The power of... Okay, just get up. Come on. Uh -huh. Seriously, we have all day. Here, come on. Up, up, up. Jesus, I'm probably going to waste my time. Oh, it's I, Tic Tac, friend of the children. Oh, oh man. You guys didn't tell me it was Tic Tac, friend of the children. Yeah, we know Tic Tac very well. Oh. What? Why did we do this? Why, why do children have friends that are horses? I don't know. They don't. They why? don't. It makes everyone uncomfortable. Yeah, this is really... I mean, we've already got enough issues. Tic Tac friend of the... Children, come on. I have a PR nightmare to think of. Even though I'm not currently doing anything about it or talking... about it or bringing it up in dialogue we can't really have this sort of association um yeah no 
I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of this one. I'm out. What are we, uh, what are we doing? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say just, uh... Let's re-kill him. We can do that. We resurrected him. It's not a mortal no, sin. No, no, Bam! No, Bam! No, ah. no. As they say, you don't beat a dead horse, but I'm the Pope, I can do anything. Boop, boop. Touche, Pope. Cane, cane shoes. Cane shoes. Thank you, most Pira. You know you rock. Boop. Anyway, I believe we've unfortunately come to the end of my sojourn on, on, on what I like to call the episode of Pope City Chronicles. I don't know if we actually titled it that. Yeah, I, be, I, I believe like Pope City is technically like that Vatican City. Vatican City. Well, VCC, Vatican City Chronicles. That's what this was. If we were smart, we would have called it that. But I think we called it Pope. Anyway, we, uh, we traditionally like to close out, I'm told, with a dance. I mean, our Catholics don't normally allow dancing, but Nigel, Nigel, McKnight. Oh, a bumper? Okay, well, that's fine then, too. All right, so we're going to be right back. Or we're not. I don't know. Come on, Pope. I what? Thought you what, do you do? what am I, infallible? God bless you. Oh, uh, by the way, I know you probably don't like crack. You probably haven't tried it, but um, it really brings you close to God. So that's why I do it personally, is for him. You know, we reach each other's levels and we hang out. We eat dirt sandwiches. You know? God's cool. I like him. We're friends, but like, Chiquita! Ven pa' acá! Stop eating that! What are you eating? Oh, God. All right, well. Hey, look at that! I found myself an old popsicle! I'm having dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Yeah! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! Dinner tonight! to rock you one more time. Pope, are you ready? I'm ready. Now this is not a space jam. This is a regular jam we recorded back in 92. Called it Pizza the Pope. Are you ready for this, Pope? I'm ready. All right. <laughs> Pizza the Pope, Pizza the Pope, what do I love? Pizza the Pope, Pizza the Pope, Pizza the Pope, Pizza the Pope, what do I love? Pizza the Pope.
Why don't you take a verse, my old friend? Come on, this is Watts. I know you don't sing, but maybe this once. Like you're already doing it, mate. Beach boat. Beach on space. <laughs> 